Hey what's up guys, uh, this is Modadic here, so today's video is going to be about uh, modding Warhammer 2 uh, and which tools I'm using and uh, just going to show you how everything is being done. Okay, so first thing you need to do is just need to have a game, obviously, so that's going to be in your Steam library, uh, that's at least where I got this the game from and it's very convenient to have it on Steam because you have an access for a workshop it's right here on this page so you click the workshop it's gonna take you to the older workshop mods that people created as you can see there are different kinds of uh, that tags like units, campaigns, maps whatever you feel like modding you know so whatever you feel like you need you just can find it here if you're looking for a particular mod, you know the name, you just type the name, for example, uh, one of my favorite is Dogs of War, you just make sure it's by relevance, and his main mod is this one, so that's the major mod that you have to download in order for every other mod, sub mods to be used, and basically I like this mod because it has an access for like for example if you got tired of your units that's basically where you can download a bunch of other mods like with new units and basically it gave it gives you the ui to hire them like here so your army composition will be much different and more fun also the requirement items be usually some mods that require some other mods it's gonna be here so obviously you need to upgrade the UI modding framework in order to have a new UI for hiring mercenaries from Dogs of War. <coughs> and now that's all the sub mods that he has. Amazing outer. I think I don't has most of his mods. So basically whenever you download the mods, you're gonna have a check mark like this. And if you don't you're not subscribed. There you go, you just click this button and boom, you're subscribed to a mod and it just downloads it instantly. You're just gonna have the, like, the small download uh, bar here, depends on how large the mod is, that's how fast it's gonna download and based on your internet speed as well. <coughs> so, and most of these mods are compatible, I check them, I try them, um, love these mods, I like the idea that you can hire the mercenaries so yeah uh, well the main part so you guys have showed you where to access the mods mm. uh, the main part was uh, like before you start downloading all the mods I suggest you just to find oops misspelled it there you go, Kaedrin. So it's Kaedrin's mod manager. That's the tool I'm using right now. And that's the tool that makes your game stable as possible. The original uh, Steam's uh, mod manager that they provide to you doesn't make the game stable. I tried it. With this mod manager, I was able to run more than 200 mods at the same time. The game was funny uh, I mean like it was kind of weird some features of the game was not present like maybe there's I would play this Empire I think uh, there's some uh, gameplay the new gameplay mechanics uh, couldn't use them because uh, some mods were not compatible so I had to spend many hours to find the problem like which mod was blocking everything I found it so and the game ran smooth so <clears throat> so yeah so in order to download the this tools you need to access this link here so it's gonna take you to this website so all you need to do is just click here it's just gonna download the file you just open it and you just run it and just make sure to save it anywhere but not in your game folder. I suggest you just save it on desktop, like I did. So, there, there is a file folder. 
I just name it Total War Map Manager. Just go there, click here, double click this icon here, and it's gonna take you here. <coughs> now, as you can see, I have lots of mods downloaded, that shitload of mods. And uh, I don't use them all at the same time, so it depends. I choose, for example, I was playing as Kaven, and whenever you choose mods by clicking it, make sure it's checkmarked whichever mod you want to use and just launch the game and after launch the game your mods are gonna be under the last used mods so 114 mods I used yes there's the conflicts lots of conflicts but my game is still stable which I like what, what I like about Kytrix mod manager it makes your game more stable even though you have shitload of conflicts between mods but <clears throat> another thing i want to tell you is uh, this conflicts here there it doesn't apply like for example all the checkmarked uh, mods uh, are not might not be included here it might be all your mods that you have even the ones that are not checkmarked there still might be the conflict so for example uh, if you want to see which mods there you go pg all faction monster hunt that's one of the conflicts all these mods are in the conflict with that mod but doesn't mean it's not gonna work so what I'm trying what I'm doing is I uh, run the game maybe a few turns in a game and see like how the game runs and like if everything runs as normal that means the game is going to be stable and I like it if it's not then I find which mod is causing the conflict usually <coughs> instead of just going through the whole list I know maybe some other people find any easier way to do but usually I just go through major mods that I download just uncheck them run the game if the game runs runs perfect without this mod okay so I'm not using this mod <coughs> before I had SSD it took me the very long time to find out which mods are having conflict with and like breaking the game but since I downloaded the SSD, it's just a matter of seconds until like the game starts, they check the game, if the game doesn't crash, then good, this mod is good to go. But before SSD it was taking me the whole long time because <coughs> again, with all these mods you put lots of pressure on your computer as well. So <coughs> if you don't want this, you go to the options just have to check this bypass conflict detection battle so just gonna remove all the conflict uh, <coughs> uh, conflict uh, thing from here and yeah so once you download all the mods you want you tested them you click the you click the buttons they run well so just press for example i named it like uh, if i know the game is gonna run perfectly without any crashes i just named this <coughs> mod mod mo <coughs> i won't say mod pack that i downloaded for example that's for my uh, scaven campaign just press launch <coughs> Starting a game, just go to the new campaign. If 
you downloaded all the DLC. Keep in mind, uh, if you're not like a crazy modder as me, just don't try to maybe just use less mods. But if you're like, if you're a crazy modder, sure, go ahead. But I'm just warning you, it's gonna take you a good amount of time just figuring out the mod conflicts. <coughs> so, another thing, I found the uh, for example, as you can see all the mod conflicts here, that's for all the mods that I've ever downloaded for the Warhammer 2. And sometimes uh, the game still thinks that uh, you still... those mods are still activated, uh, even though they're not checkmarked. And that's when you might still have all the <coughs> crashes. So my suggestion is just to go to wherever your Warhammer uh, file is, so it's my Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Total Warhammer 2, Data, and there's that's where you're gonna find all the mods that you ever downloaded. If you have this problem whenever, for example, you've been using <coughs> like 50 mods for your Skaven campaign, and then you said, okay, fuck it, I'm gonna start a new one. For example, it's Norska, so you downloaded another 50 mods for Norska. You played it, you liked it, and you start, you decided to return back to Skaven campaign. And those mods don't load anymore, the game keep crashing. So, <coughs> sometimes it happens whenever you have a shitload of mods in your data folder. <coughs> so... Uh, I think the fastest way is just uh, to fix everything is like as a hard reset just delete everything in your data folder and then uh, go to your library and my suggestion is just to to verify uh, let me just cancel no So go to manage. Properties. Local files. And verify integrity of the game files. It's gonna take a while, but it's gonna fix your game. Thank you for watching my video. Please leave any comments or if you have any questions, I will gladly answer them if I can. If you found my video interesting, please like and follow my channel. I will try to post a new content related to mods every week. Thank you for your time. It was a mod addict with you guys and I hope you enjoy your day.